What's up world? C.A. Pate back at you with another video. Today I am back on my Cam Am Rikers. I'm all about Three Wheel Nation and the Cam Am Rikers again today. So I wanted to just get you guys set for the winter time and tell you what you should be buying now to get ready for the summertime. Buy it during the winter, get your bike in the shop, let them take the time to like, you know, put all those accessories on it that you want to have on it. Um, I got the 2019, so I have a 2019 Cam Am Riker, and I pretty much have everything on it. This year, I'm going to focus on suspension, or I should say next year for next season. I'm doing suspension work, sway bars and um, suspension. So I'm going to buy these Eckhart suspension system back in front, and I'm going to um, buy sway bars, and that's what I'm going to focus on. And I'm going to add wheel lights, and I'm going to figure out what color I want to wrap my bike and that's what I have my plans for next summer are. So when you first get your bike, you want to try to figure out storage, right? You want to Most people, when they first get it, they want to just have fun. So you see right here, they have a three-piece storage system. I got one, no, I got two people in my crew of the Cam Man Chicago Riker Riders. Our name of the crew is the Chicago Riker Riders. I got three people in the crew that have this system in setup. So it's $849. It's in stock. They seem to like it. Um, some of them draw, uh, drill holes within the system on both sides of this to add their amp and add speakers and stuff. And it's pretty loud. Here's a jockey shifter for 200 bucks. I have this on mine. Some people don't like it because they say it's kind of like old school looking. Me, personally, I like it. I, I actually love it. It, it really it re puts your bike in reverse and forward. I really like this thing. It does work. You don't have to mess your shoes up, kicking that thing back and forth or leaning all the way down to try to shift it back and forth. This jockey shifter is where it's at, man. Trust me. When I first right now, it's one hundred and ninety nine dollars. When I first purchased it, it was only one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, Basically, you get what this is, is the different throttle response. This thing is going for three hundred forty nine dollars. You can put this on your bike to get a throttle response, a different type of throttle response. So, you know, when you, um, you know, turn the throttle on your Cam Am Riker, you know how it has that little hesitation and then it takes off this. You can like limit the hesitation or like the sensitivity in it, or you can like make it a little bit stronger. So it's up to you. Again, this is $349. The rims. I am going to get some rims. I think I'm going to get these in black, but I do like the black and silver. So I get up on that so you guys can see it real good. That black and silver does look pretty good, I must say. So I do like that overall. I think I'm going to get mine in all black, though. Or if I get it, or I could get it in this and then wrap the silver piece in like red or whatever color I want to. These are in stock and they're going for $735. That's not a bad price point, you know, team. Forgiato, I know people have been hitting me up saying, hey, do you know if they make a Forgiato rim for the Cam Am Riker? And to my knowledge right now, they do not. Here's an extra battery. If you want to get a battery for your Cam Am Riker, it's $104. As a matter of fact, I think this is... <sighs> I don't know if this is the good battery. So I know some people that hit me up and was talking about which battery they should get. This one's $104. I think this may be the good one. I'm going to check it out and give you guys another video on it. This might be that good battery that will hold and, and hold all your lights and stuff like that. Just a note for you people. When you get your lights put on, whoever put your lights on, when your bike shuts off, all of your lights should shut off. You should not be able to hit a button or, you know, when you shut the bike off, the bike is, the lights are still on. That is going to be a drain on your battery. So that's why a lot of times when you go to start your bike the next day, it doesn't start. They have to come up with a specialty type of battery for these bikes because I feel like the the factory battery, battery that's in there, I think that those are not good batteries overall. I think that they're not set up to take all the stuff that we're putting on them. This is a floor kit. I got a couple of people in my crew that have this one, $349. So it entails that this brake piece that's right there, that goes on it. And then this is the actual floorboard. <sighs> Cam Am, BRP, whoever, Sling Mod, please get something that can do this for me that has a bar that goes right here. And so I can like prop my foot up on it. And then I can hit the brake with my heel. 
If you guys come up with something like that, I don't care if it's a thousand dollars, I'm gonna go out and buy it. So come up with something like that as soon as possible. The president of the Chicago Record Riders, his name is Scat. He has this on his bike. He has something similar to this, but he built his own and he has what I'm talking about. So um, in some of my previous videos, it's in there. This right here is a front fender turn signal thing. So when you buy your bike from you know the factory and your bike comes in, this is just a red nothing. It's there as a red reflector, but it doesn't light up or do anything. If you get this, it'll light up and it has a um, a blinker. It works as a blinker, so it'll do right turn, left turn, and it brights in orange. So at nighttime, it's a, it's a really good feature to have. And look how cheap it is. It's only $134 and it's in stock. I give a good review on this. I haven't really had any problems with it besides I hit a big rock one day and a thing popped out and then, you know, like broke or whatever. I had to order another one. But, you know, how many times I just couldn't avoid this huge. It was basically a brick in the middle of the expressway. But I do highly recommend this. I like this a lot. What I'm also getting is these wheel lights. So these go around there by trike. They go around your um, wheels, each wheel. It's $499 for the whole kit. So if you already have the other tri kit where you got, you know, it's it's the underglow lights and stuff like that, this will go straight into that. Man, these things are amazing. They look beautiful at night. I suggest these lights as well. I am going to add these to my bike. So in earlier videos, if you subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. C8 Pay, hit that subscribe button. Don't just watch the video and not subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. I have pretty much every accessory on my bike. I do not have this accessory. It will be added next summer to my bike. Um, so again, next bike I'm next summer I'm working on in spring. I'm working on suspension, these lights, some rims. Um, so these rims that are on there, these are actually the factory rims, and they look good with those lights. So I don't know, man. I got to decide if I want to keep my rims or if I want to uh, go with <clears throat> a different rim, but. I have these lights on my bike. So these are the track lights that I was talking about. These are nice. I like this. And look at the price. It's only $189. Comes with like a little remote. It's underglow light. So it's three pieces to this. It's piece one, piece two, piece three. Um, and it comes with just basically it lights your bike up even more. So if you get all three pieces, your bike is just going to get lit up even more. This right here. I don't know what I think about the exhaust. You guys tell me in the comment section what you guys think about the exhaust that go on some of these bikes. So this exhaust right here, it, it's a, it has a nice rumble, nice little sound to it. So if you guys like it, just, just let me know what you guys think about them. Um, I've, the nicest one I've heard, it was this one young lady. She had one a Flowmaster kit on hers um, exhaust, and the thing sounded crazy. It sounded sounded wonderful if you're into that. But just remember, before you buy these, which I've learned, I've tried to talk to a lot of people in my bike crew about, about, the louder your exhaust is gonna drown your music out. So make sure your music is not drowned out by your exhaust. I've seen people that got the exhaust and then took the exhaust back out because it was drowning out their music. What we got here is more lights. So I got these on my bike as well. They're another $139. If you notice, we went through a bunch of these. I pretty much have most of this stuff on my bike. Man, this stuff gets expensive. When you buy these bikes, and let's say you buy one for $11,000, $12,000 outdoor, whatever, $13,000, you probably got another five to 6000 just of accessories, rims, lights, windshield, all this stuff that you want to put on it. It's crazy. This right here I have on my bike. So your factory lights are kind of yellowish. They did correct it on the 2021s, I think it is. The, the factory lights are exact, um, are yellow, the uh, headlamps. So if you buy this kit, it'll make them bright white. It'll make them LED. So like the rest of your bike is all in LED. And all of a sudden, for some reason in 2019s and like some of the 2020s, they didn't make it that way. They put regular like yellowish lights on there and they should have put LED lights. This is like a two seater. Right. So. I haven't seen anybody with this yet. If you guys know somebody with it, let me know. The cost is $624. I've seen a couple of people with this windshield. I actually like this windshield. It's $279. I might think about adding it. I don't know. 
but I do like the windshield. What I can say about the windshields is they do help you with the wind, but a lot of people I see still put their goggles on even with these windshields, but the windshields do help. This one has like a black tint to it, which I do like. This is a backrest for your front seat. I don't normally need a backrest. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look into it, but I don't think I really need it. But let me know what you guys think. It's $229. Let me know if any of you guys are using it. This is a luggage rack. So another nice piece. It's a luggage rack for your Cam-Am Riker, and it costs $169. I don't know if I need it, but I'm going to think about adding it. I think I got enough storage on my bike for right now. Of course, the cover. I got a different cover than this. My cover looks totally different than this. This is 84 bucks. I think my cover is more sturdy and more of an all-purpose cover. Um, for $64, you can get this thing that'll hold your thermos or whatever on the side of your bike. I got one. Mine's black. Mine costs $49. I mean, I'm shocked that how expensive some of that stuff is coming out to be. Uh, here's another floorboard for $200. $97. So I say get the longer one, but this looks nice too. But I like the longer floorboard or footboard. These speakers right here are absolutely trash. Do not get these. So I've seen enough people that got them. And I give that a thumbs down on the review. That's what you see. They slashed the price to $199 to $169. They're, those are garbage. Swear to God to you. Do not buy those. Those are garbage. Um... I have this on my bike. This is going for $129 and it lights up the back of your bike. And when you turn on the left or right turn signal, these actually blink. I have this on my bike. This is $129. I have this on my bike as well. And it basically um, lights up the side of your bike, kind of like an underglow. I do not have this on my bike. It is $349 and it changes up your headlamps. And this is what your headlamps look like after the fact. So the yellow side you see when you got when that's that's means that's the right turn signal. My boy Frank in my bike group, he has these on his. It does look kind of cool, but I wouldn't get them on, on mine. I don't think not yet. I don't know. I don't like them enough. Like certain things I care about and certain things I don't. I got a ton of people that have this in my group that have this plug and play speaker system. It is kind of loud, so I'm not going to, you know talk about it in, in a negative way. It's $549. It, it, it's just loud enough. I'm going to say you could probably hear the music up to about 40 miles per hour. You could probably hear the music pretty decent, but I wouldn't get it, you know? So, and if I would, I would try to get some other plug and play system that goes with it with some other speakers to make it louder. This is just the regular one that we have. Um, the only difference is this is a little different. Yeah. I have this on mine, which is when this blinks, it's like a rear, another rear fender thing. It, it, it glows in red at all time. But when you hit the turn signal on either side, it starts blinking in a sequential way. So I actually like it. It's 89 bucks. Now, I did. I have hit bumps and different things. So if I had to replace two of these, but that's two of them in like two years. So not bad. I, I still give it high marks on this one. I wouldn't get these again, three, four hundred and forty nine dollars. Don't get them, people. Just just don't get it. <laughs> I'm sure Sling Buy is probably like, what is he talking about? Um, another windshield, windshield. See, two windshield. One windshield is three hundred and eighty dollars. Another one is two hundred and twelve dollars. This is $419 and it comes with the light. I have this on my bike. I recommend it. There's so many times that my radiator could have got damaged and it didn't because of this. So I say, go out and get this. I like this. So I do have it on my bike. It was an addition that I added at the beginning of the spring. Night Rider light. So this is the Night Rider light for $129. I say, I like it. It goes in different colors, 200 different like colors and, you know, different ways that it'll go, red, white, blue, so on and so forth. I say get this, $129. I like it. It works for me. More LED 360 lights. So 
this right here is what I'm talking about. Just to kind of, I don't want to make this video too, too long. I'll come back and do a second video. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm going to get next summer for my bike. I'm going to work on suspension only. So I'm going to work on, well, not only, I'm going to get the rims. Suspension is the first thing that I'm going to work on. So I'm testing things now. I'm doing a bunch of research. I'm going to go and I'm going to buy these for my bike. I'm going to buy the back and I'm going to buy two for the front. Probably the rims. I'll probably go ahead since I've had my bike three years and buy new tires for it to go with the rims. Um, what else? And the wheel lights. So I probably have about another $3,000 close to $3,000 in parts that I want to buy for my bike next spring. And then I got to put the stuff, get the stuff put on. Right. So that's probably another thousand to 1200. So I'm looking at, I have a budget for my bike next year of about four to $5,000. I'm not going to go over $5,000. I've already put a bunch of stuff into my bike, but I'm not going to go over. I'll set the budget now. I'm not going to go over $4,000. That's with installing everything. <sighs> 4,500, 4,500. I keep flip-flopping on this, but let me know in the comment section if you like this video and if you want to see more content. I, I, I got a bunch of people in my group, 130 something people in my group that have different bikes and all these accessories. I pretty much know everything about every single accessory that you could think about. Um, oh, I didn't see this one, a dual horn kit. Huh, the horn is kind of weak on the, on the Riker, so. See these two red things is they give you a dual horn kit. So we'll see what else I'm going to add, not add. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Oh, we got these lights. I don't have these lights. So this is one of the only lights I don't have. I don't know if I really like them. Um, More exhaust stuff. Other lights. But... Subscribe to the channel. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know if you like this video. Until next time, my friend, CA Pate.